We're back. We made it to Disneyland. We got in late last night into Anaheim and we're staying at the Hilton Garden. Everything went smooth with that check-in, but we are back here in Disneyland for day one. And uh, Halloween stuff starts tomorrow, so we're getting ready for that, but today is just gonna be full of food, time with our niece, and uh, experiencing what Disney has to offer for not only the 100th, but also for Halloween time, one day early at Disneyland. It looks like they're filming a commercial at Disneyland, which is super cool, especially having a film degree, seeing all the sea stands, apple boxes, sunshades. It like brings me back to school and I love it. I love seeing that. Here we are, Halloween time. I've been waiting to see this all year long. This is easily my favorite time of year at Disneyland. I love Christmas time, but something about Halloween and the orange just does it. And here we go, our first taste of Halloween merch for us at least. $34.99 for the pumpkin ears. And I think $34.99 for these Minnie Mouse bat ears, which are really cute. And Mickey's not quite in his Halloween outfit yet. He's still in his hundredth, but I'm assuming tomorrow he'll probably be in his Halloween getup. But for now, this will do. See, now this, this is great. This is actually what I've been waiting for. The Mickey pumpkin. This is just another great look too, like just seeing all the orange throughout Main Street, it's, it's amazing. Like you, you really just don't get this any time of year. Christmas is great too, but something about the Halloween orange is just so festive too. I love it. I've always wanted to get the orange spirit jersey and this might be the year that I do it, but I don't know. This is easily a must. I know if you're trying to rope drop and trying to get on rides, do not stop and get coffee, but that is not our goal today. So Starbucks is a must. We'll see if they got the pumpkin spice latte, and I think that they do, so we should be, we should be all set. I'm ready to go. I can't wait for you to try it. Day one of vacation. Cheers! This is on the top of my list that I think I'm gonna get tonight of day one. I don't know the price. I feel like it's like 70 bucks. But I've always wanted it. And I never pulled the trigger on it, so I don't know. Speaking of fits, where's your fit from? Because I know, oh I know you're proud of it. Okay, top is Brady Melville. Pants are Shein, don't cancel me, please, I'm broke. And then um, my bag is from Target. And my ears are from here. Matcha Starbucks. Matcha with what? With strawberry cream cold foam. Is that Game the secret? Changer. Game changer, because Jaden usually doesn't like matcha, but now he does. No, I just... Now he does. I just like the cold foam. Yeah. I like the cold foam. I don't really like the, the matcha part. It tastes too earthy to me. I don't know. But you haven't tried the pumpkin cold foam on top of a matcha. I don't know if I don't like that. I'm not it. like a big fan of like pumpkin spice. You should try it. Like I'll do like one good pumpkin spice drink for like the beginning of fall, but I'll never like order that consistently. This is my drink, my go-to drink. I don't see anything too new in here besides like, I didn't see the Peter Pan stuff last time. The backpacks are cool. Not something I would use on a day-to-day -day basis. I know we used to have these when I was a kid. These fans would always get one of those. Oh, babe, look at this one. This might be the shirt I get this time. It's like my uh, my tan one. This one's cute. But I really like that. Yeah. That blue. These sweats here. It's got a cool color. Really cute. I love these. They're nice. Got the little Mickey oh, hands on the side. Yeah. The that new line that they're doing. Yeah. This always reminds me of Jesse, like the denim. Jesse likes all the denim yeah. stuff like that. Good stuff. Look who's in Disneyland this morning. If you know, you know. There she is in all her glory. Sleeping Beauty Castle, I think it's super underrated. Obviously, Disney World is gonna have a way bigger castle, but this is the original, this is the OG. Oh, we have a crooked spire there. You see that? It's crooked. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but there's another beauty right there. Matterhorn Mountain, it should be operating today. 
So I might try to get on that. The best time is during the fireworks, for sure the best time. So this is gonna be a big crazy video, a long video where we're doing a ton of stuff. I think the, the point of this video here is just to kind of have a relaxing morning in Disneyland. If your purpose isn't to rope drop and be stressed about getting on a ton of rides, this is kind of just like a look of taking in Disneyland in a morning where you just wanna get some coffee, relax, appreciate not being at work or at home. This is the time to just kind of hang out with your family, stop for the photos, stop for the coffee, go to the gift shops, um, and then if you want to, slip on a couple of rides. But yeah, that's that's kind of the point of this video, just to kind of give you guys a look inside of that. Because I know a lot of times people stress about going to Disneyland, but I think there's a, there's a nice part about it where you don't have to stress about going like super crazy with it. So this is one of those moments. Yes, our first step into Tomorrowland. This is like the best way to start your vacation, I think, is starting in Tomorrowland. Especially starting with this guy here when it's got a five minute wait. You can't pass it up. I'm thinking this one is probably gonna be a walk-on. There's no one in front of us. I think we'll be able to walk right up into our park. There's nobody in here. Hello, Buzz. It's been a while. Guys, it's a walk-on. We got ourselves a walk-on for our first ride. All right, we're going for the world record. We're going for the world record. No! This is fair. This is the worst I've ever done. That's the best you've ever done. We just found this hat here. Well, Priscilla found it. And I love Pixar. I would bend it a little more, but it's like they're 40 like bucks. Super nice quality too. Yeah, they're Nike. $40. I like it. Strife it. So maybe. We'll see. We'll see. And you just beat me I at Buzz Lightyear. Or, okay. Yeah, for the first time, huh? No, it's my second time. I don't know about but that. Jaden claims to not remember the first time. Right? It didn't happen. And now he's blaming it on filming. Yeah, because so. this is my first time vlogging with this camera here. So I'm going to run with that. That'll be my excuse. We've only been here an hour. We got coffee. Yep. We bought ears. We bought an autograph pen. We went on Buzz Lightyear. We did a photo pass. What else did we do? We actually sat in Starbucks for a while too and just kind of people watched and went to a couple of stores. And we've been relaxed the whole time. We haven't been stressed. We haven't been feeling like we need to do a bunch of stuff. I'm telling you, this is sometimes just the way to go. You don't have to, you don't have to rope drop like crazy. Sometimes it's nice to relax. Hello, Sleeping Beauty Castle. I know I mentioned it already, but I'm telling you, there's something about the original castle that is just like so special. It's great. It's, this is Walt's castle. This is the castle I grew up with. I don't know, I love it. And I love the little additions they throw in for the 100th. I remember when we did Disneyland's 50th. It's just, it's beautiful. Coming back to Fantasyland always makes me think of my family. Growing up, going here a couple times a year, you know, it's such a special place to remember all those good memories. Now I get to take my nieces. One day I'll get to take my kids. And this experience, everything I got to do with my parents and my siblings. Um, so it's really special to always come back here and just kind of reflect on being an adult and being able to be here on my own, which is awesome, and be here with now my partner and our nieces and and laws it's it's a great time. Really happy to be here. And for those who watch JoJo's World, if you know, you know. I haven't tried, but maybe I'll try this trip. Disney hack for any parents who are bringing their kids with strollers. My sister-in-law and my brother taught me this. Buy a balloon and attach it to your stroller, and then when you're looking for your stroller after the cast members move it, way easier to locate. And look what we found. We have the genie. I feel like I never see the genie here. Oh, that's so cool. And another short line here for a relaxing morning in Disneyland. King Arthur's Carousel. I haven't been on this in a couple months. I'm excited. Peter Pan and Captain Hook are on right now. And this is the most chaotic part, right here. Is getting to pick 
your horse. And for those who don't want to spend a hundred dollars on a bottle of water, no, I'm being dramatic, but for those who don't want to spend money on water, Red Rose Tavern, you can get free ice water, all you gotta do is ask. So that's what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna get some water. Who wants free water? Me. Me, please. Want some water? I would like some, please. And there we go, they give us our ice, stick it to this side. And they have water spouts for us to get water. Okay guys, that is gonna be it for vlog number one. It's a two day trip. I'm gonna be splitting the videos up into different segments. This morning was really just a relaxing morning in Disney, but I'm gonna be filming again another video today. Maybe two more videos today, and then I think I have two or three planned for tomorrow, uh, but I'll be splitting them up just to give you guys a little bit more content and just to kind of, I don't know, I'm still new, so I'm trying to practice editing and practicing, you know, creating shorter content, maybe seven to 10, seven to 12 minute videos for you guys. Uh, so that is gonna be it for day one. I might throw in something else, but we'll see. But thank you for spending the morning with me in Disneyland. It's a relaxing morning and I will see you guys soon.